What's up everybody, Gundam Flexing here, and today I'm going to be unboxing high grade build divers, Gundam 00 Diver, or Gundam 00 Diver, Riku's mobile suit. I got this off Amazon for less than, I think, around $14, which isn't bad for a high grade kit. And the reason why I'm building it now, because it just came in the mail, and the kit is very small, at least the box is, which is a good indicator on how, uh, I guess, the length of building time it usually takes to finish these models. Here it is. Haven't seen the series, but it is in my to watch list later. We look at the side of the box, you see that he has the sword mode or rifle mode, so that's interchangeable, which is pretty cool. Here it says stylus proportions and smooth moving mechanisms for dramatic action poses. Oh, dramatic, yes, indeed. Here he says the wrists have a wide range of movement, which is always a plus. It's sort of like the high grade Gyan. And various hand parts are included, which if we look closely, it's like the open hand, closed fist, you've got your trigger hands, and yeah, just closed fist, that's it. Here is the battle action pose with the interchangeable rifle sword. It's a very short skirt. Here it says the GM beam sabers are equipped on the rear armor, so pretty much it just goes underneath his back skirt. It says right here the twin drive systems on both shoulders can be moved flexibly which is pretty nice so he's had the GN drivers here and here and what else alright so a lot of battle poses this is the lineup on the other side of the box we pretty much see the completed version of the kit uh, so he does come with two GN swords slash uh, beam rifles it has a very small waist and pretty much almost no skirt and again we see the GN drives on his shoulders, pretty cool. There. And this is the general information on the Gundam 00 Diver. You could pause the screen if you would like to read more on it. And if we go into the box itself, again this is a very small box so I don't anticipate a lot of runners. This is the first bag. It has two runners. So the first runner is mostly gray, but you have a couple of the red for his feet and the skirts. And then of course you have a couple of yellow, it looks like it's going to be on his chest. Looking at the back white ones, we see it's primarily white, so this is most likely going to be on his swords. Uh, we've got a couple other pieces for his limbs. And they got the light green pieces, but most likely I think these will probably go either in his face or in the GN drives. But that is technically one runner if you will, but it's only for three pieces. And then we have stickers right here, it's upside down. So we have one red piece, a couple dark grays, you have his eyes, and a couple gray pieces, so not that many. All in total, it's uh, only 11 stickers. Not bad. This is the second bag, and there's just two runners in it right here. One is predominantly blue. And the other is predominantly white, again, for the limbs. These are his GN drives right here. Pretty sick. And this is pretty interesting. It has, it looks like, okay, so a bag for one runner, the J runner, which is primarily gray. Oh, here are his hands. So really, he comes with three pairs of hands. And we have the uh, PC caps. That's it. And these new kits are coming with assembly instructions. If you notice like the older models, probably like the mid 2000s earlier, it doesn't come with like international reading with like English and Spanish, which is pretty cool and convenient in a way. But the instructions are universal so anyone could build them just by following the uh, pictures. This is the main character that pilots this Gundam and this is the front of the pamphlet. Right here. If we open it up technically to the first page, we will see all the runners. So you have the A, B. No, oh, okay, so it, went, it goes from A, B, H, I, J, K, and you get the PC caps, and it even shows you the stickers. Now, where all the X's indicate, it indicates that those are extra pieces, and it looks like there are quite a few. Not so much on the PC caps, you only got one extra piece, but it looks like on the B, it looks probably like half of the runner is just extra pieces that you're not going to use. But we'll see when I finish building it. 
judging by the instructions on the uh, for like the body and the head and for the arms it doesn't look too difficult like maybe only a couple steps really for each and as you progress you begin assembling all the limbs and then you start off with the bottom of his legs so yeah it does not look like a very complex build and here are the final instructions which are in color of your final product the shoulders are pretty nice I like the the jaggedy edges GN drives so that it goes right into his backpack actually uh, so it only looks like he has two weapons which are technically short range and long range engagements the sword for short range and the rifles for long range good thing they give you a pair all right so customized by combining with the products sold separately so the rifle I'm just assuming that it's sold separately because um, you didn't see it in the box that's pretty cool and this is the back of the pamphlet so it says here the head unit antenna has been added to the base kit okay so this talks about the little details and features that is also featured in the show right here yes this model is featured in mobile suit Gundam double zero or zero zero here is the GN sword 2 and just tells you a little bit more information the GM beam saber and it finally ends with the color guide and this is it the body's white body's blue red yellow gray and the sensors are green and of course you have the rest of the lineup of the build divers and I'm eyeing on this specific model I really like the way it looks um, I've also eyed this one and at the time of this video of recording you can get this kit I think for $16 on Amazon which is a price drop of $22 and if you have Amazon Prime then obviously you have free two-day shipping stress of the information there but that's it for this unboxing hopefully this kit would take me less than a week to build uh, just to give you all an update on what's going on in my life it's just a lot of schooling a lot of work schooling work repeat and uh, I'm just trying to salvage what I <laughs> what little sleep I have left but which is primary the reason why I purchase high grade and stick with high grades or less or even you know reborn 1100s but guys that's all I have for this video keep your eyes out for a speed build video and uh, yeah if you have any questions or comments post it down in the section below and I will see you all next time peace out <laughs>